Hey guys, this is Persephone and this is another video for the Hermit Tarot. This video is going to be dedicated to my Scorpions. Scorpions, this is your April 2020 monthly tarot reading. I hope you do enjoy the video. If the video does resonate with you guys, you guys can always become a Patreon. On my Patreon page, you will be able to go ahead and purchase the extended video. And also there are multiple, multiple prices on my patreon page where you can go ahead and win a personal reading you can get extended readings and you can go ahead and have access to different polls and topics and you can even make your own special request on which topic you would like for me to discuss on the tarot reading for your specific sign this video also um is dedicated like i said to scorpions but remember to check your moon sun and rising sign so if something doesn't resonate for you Let's say, for example, you're looking for more information about your love life. It's always good to check your astrology and your birth chart where your Venus is. So you can be a Scorpion, but if your Venus is in Sagittarius, then the Sagittarius tarot reading would probably be a better emphasis on your love life. Now, today's April 10th, so I do like to go ahead and include astrology in my videos only because it explains better on why we are communicating and accepting messages the way we are. Right now, our sun is in Aries. So Aries people, the sign, the zodiac sign itself tends to work smart, not hard, and they make decisions very quick and swiftly. Fire energy, which is the Aries sign, the Aries sign, helps you go ahead and make decisions and be very confident about your decision. Right now, the season is going to transition into Taurus. Taurus people tend to be a little bit more stable, a little bit more subtle, a little bit more humble. Even though Taurus people tend to have a stubborn reputation, Taurus people, which are earth signs, tend to be more grounded and stable when they're making their decisions. Our Venus right now is in Gemini. Geminis are very talkative, but Geminis also can be very fickle, hot and cold, here and there, ghosting, right? So you might have a lot of people from your romantic past or your friendships that did not work for you coming back into your life. So you might have a lot of ex-lovers, ex-best friends, ex-coworkers trying to come back into your life and rekindle or reignite a friendship or relationship that you no longer wanted. Keep that in mind because now that we are all practicing social distancing and we are all in quarantine, this is going to put a big emphasis on people trying to rekindle and to reignite any sort of relationship with you and re-enter your life. Keep that in mind if you're dealing with any questions or any relationships that have all of a sudden bloomed out of nowhere. And I'm not talking about people that are new into your life. I'm talking about people that you've already known, have already experienced, and probably have already a negative experience with. People like that right now are looking to come in and to rekindle because right now Venus is in Gemini and we're kind of longing for something more familiar, more exciting, more intellectual. Okay. So this reading again is for Scorpions. I hope you do enjoy this. Let's get with the reading. Okay, so let's start with the overall energy of Scorpion. Scorpion, this is your reading for April 2020. Scorpion's general reading. What is your overall energy? Scorpion's, what is your overall energy? I have mentioned before that Scorpion's are usually the last zodiac sign that I do um, in my series, only because it takes a lot of energy to read a Scorpion. Scorpions are very intense. Any any water sign is intense. So that's like a scorpion, cancer, Pisces. But scorpions just tend to be the kicker. Like, they really drain. So, I'm sorry, scorpion. Your video is usually like the last one. Okay, so scorpions, this is your monthly reading for April. Your overall energy, Scorpions. 
Scorpions, you got rid of a relationship, a romantic situation or something that you felt was flourishing. You got rid of it because you felt like you felt like it was a burden for you. You felt like the possibility of having a relationship with this person was too good to be true. You felt like this person was either too flashy or maybe the energy that you were receiving, excuse me, the energy that you were giving off to this person was that you were too flashy. You were high maintenance. Remember that energies can be reversed. So if I talk about somebody's energy, it could be that I'm picking up on your energy or that person's energy. Remember, gender is fluid in tarot. So just because you see a female on this card doesn't mean that you're necessarily dealing with a woman. Tarot is more personality traits. That's how you were feeling in the past, Scorpio. You were feeling like the possibility of being with this person. It was easy. It was exciting. I feel like almost out of breath with this person, right? But the reason why this possibility didn't happen was because the lover's card is reversed. So it could have been that you felt like this, this was a little bit too good to be true. This person was a little too high maintenance for you. Or again, maybe this person felt towards you that you were being a little high maintenance. What's your current energy right now, Scorpio? Hmm. Scorpio, so right now, you feel like the possibility, like, so what's happening is that you and this person were not on the same page. You guys had conflicting ideas of how you wanted it, where you wanted it, how you both liked it, right? And unfortunately, that led into a situation where you guys both felt like you guys could not grow with each other. And it happened so fast. So when they talk about zero to 100 really quick, this is exactly what happened. Shit hit the fan so fucking quick with you guys. You did not understand why. You felt like, oh, I knew it. I knew it. This was something that I knew was going to happen. I knew it wasn't going to work out with this person. This shit was too good to be true. This shit was too right. And maybe this person feels the same way for you. Maybe this person felt like, I knew you were too good to be true, Scorpio. I knew you were too good. Like, I, you are so intelligent. You're so handsome. You're so beautiful. <laughs> but I knew you were going to give me a hard time. And it's like you both manifested into a situation where it's like you liked each other so much, but you guys saw it coming. It's almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy where we see something and we're like already thinking negative. And then when it happens, it's like, oh. I knew this was going to happen. And it's negative to say that because sometimes, like I said, we are our own self-critic, like our worst critic. And then sometimes we become self-fulfilling prophecies where we think about something and we're like, no, it's going to go wrong. It's going to go wrong. And then when it goes wrong, it's like, oh, I was right. And it's like, well, do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? And in this situation, it's like, OK, you were right. But now you're both unhappy. Now you're both like you you could have you could have worked this out but it's like everybody threw their hands up like oh well i knew you were i knew you were a piece of shit i knew you were a fuck boy i knew you were a fuck girl scorpio what's to come in the month of april with this scorpio what is to come with this situation for the month of april I'm sorry if you guys hear some conversation in the back. I have family over. <clears throat> mm. Unfortunately, Scorpio, I don't see this, this situation getting any better with you guys. This situation left both of you feeling like you both were trapped into a situation where I'm not talking. I'm not going to be the first one to give in. I'm not going to be the first one that lets you know how much I love you, how much I care about you, how much I want you. Because if you do, you're going to take advantage of me, right? This could be you feeling towards them or them feeling towards you. You guys are not communicating. You guys are not talking to each other right now. And no one wants to give in. No one. You both are feeling like, well, I'm not going to be the sucker here. I'm not going to be the chump here. I'm not going to be the one who lets you know how I feel. Because then, then I'm going to be the only one standing out there with my, my heart in my hand. That's unfortunate. Let me see what the overall energy is. 
the wheel reversed and the seven of cups reversed it feels like both of you guys had expectations about each other that were unfulfilled. You guys had such high expectations. This seems like a relationship that when you guys first met, it was like intense. It was like, wow, that person's hot. That person's sexy. That person's smart. It's just like everything you do is so perfect. I mean, and this could be the energy that they had towards you, Scorpio. It's like, if you could do no wrong in this person's eye, right? But then again, that person had insecurities. They had doubt, like... But this person has to be too good to be true because there's no fucking way that someone is so magnificent, so magnetizing. Like, you just, like, are full of sex. Like, you're just everything. Right? But it's like, unfortunately, the expectations they had about you were either completely wrong or, or completely disappointing. Because, unfortunately, again, you guys decided that you guys had the idea of the expectations, like this shit is too good to be true. And then finally, when you guys put it on the table, it's like, instead of kind of coming together and collaborating and kind of figuring out what you guys can both do to fix this, you guys decided to hit the, sh like, hit the fan. Either you went your way, that person went their own way, or you both decided like, I can't do this. This is just... This is too much for me. Like this, I don't want to get my heart broken. But at the end, you both got your heart broken because you both decided not to go forward with each other. So it's like, what the hell was the point of it? What was the point of all of that? And now no one's talking to each other. No one is talking to each other. Expectations were not fulfilled. Everything is upside down because it's like, unfortunately, you just did not meet my expectations. And it's like... <laughs> Where do you go from here now, Scorpio? Where do you go from here? What do you do now? What does that person do now? I see a lot of pentacles, which indicates that you could have been dealing with a Virgo, an earth sign, a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, but this is a Virgo card. I see fire here, and I see air here. Unfortunately, Scorpio, this is where no one can guide you. Only you can guide yourself, right? What do you want to do? Do you want to go forward? Do you feel like the relationship that you're about to leave behind was worth it? Or do you feel like there's another chance for you guys? Do you feel that you can come again with this person and really communicate what is it that you need versus what you want? Are you willing to bend a little bit, Scorpio? Wow, Scorpio. So, I mean, it seems like this person had a little, had very high expectations for you, but it was because they were so attracted to you. They were so into you. But unfortunately, you guys are not, you guys are not hitting the same page. And, and I wonder if it's because you didn't feel that way for this person. Maybe you felt that they weren't hitting your notes. Maybe you felt that that person was making you feel trapped. Like, oh, I like you, but you're going to trap me. I like you, but you're going to, make me feel committed to something that I'm not sure of. I don't think that you're going to fulfill my expectations or my dreams or my fantasy. Well, if this resonates for you, Scorpio, I hope you do go ahead and watch the extended video for Scorpions. This is going to conclude my YouTube video on Scorpio for the month of April for the tarot reading. Remember, I do have a contest right now happening where you have to subscribe, share, like, leave a comment. And for every comment that you leave, it'll be an entry for the contest. The contest, you win a personalized reading from me. And I will go ahead and announce the winner at the end of the month of April. And it'll be for the month of May. I hope you do have a wonderful month, Scorpions. And have a wonderful day. Hello, hello, Scorpions. Okay, so if you're here, that means that you have purchased the extended reading for Scorpio. I'm assuming that you guys have also watched the video on YouTube for the monthly tarot reading for Scorpions for the month of April 2020. If not, I'll go ahead and give you a quick summary so that we could go ahead and pick up where we left. Scorpion, so for the month of April, it seems like you were dealing with someone who had very high expectations. 
this person thought that you were it this person thought you were the creme a la creme what i mean is that you were so sexy so intelligent so fascinating it's like you could do no wrong and you might have felt this way too for this person but unfortunately it's like you both had reservations you both had hesitations you both had doubt about what was happening and unfortunately you guys have both decided that this was not something you guys wanted to do and it's not because anyone did specifically anything wrong it's just more that people had high expectations but then at the same time it was like this person's too perfect this person's the bomb this person is way too good they're probably high maintenance they're probably a cheater they're probably a liar they're probably an asshole and people usually have that expectation about scorpions right scorpions tend to be very sexual very intense very good looking um magnetic people and when you finally are wrapped around a scorpion it's very hard for you to not see the cons that come with it right because scorpions usually have like a lot of opportunities a lot of fans a lot of like and when i say fans i mean like opportunities to like you guys like attract everyone right and it doesn't matter whether you're straight gay or bi it's like whether you're a man or a woman you will attract men and women and everything in between you guys will because scorpions are just magnetic Scorpio, it seems like you guys are not communicating anymore because unfortunately, when shit hit the fan, it was very quick. But now we want to get some more clarification on what you should do going forward with this. Are you going to give in? Are you going to allow this to flourish? Are you going to make this relationship fall out the wayside? What have you decided to do? So let's get some clarification, Scorpio, on what you should do next with this. Scorpio, I see that there isn't a balance of power here. I see that there isn't a balance of feelings. There isn't a balance at all. It seems like either you were very sarcastic, ruthless, or relentless with this person when it came to communicating or failing or like emotionally feeling anything with this person. Unfortunately, you were the one that decided that this was no longer something that was serving you. Hold on, let me just adjust the camera. Unfortunately, there wasn't a balance of how you both were feeling. It could have been that you were feeling the person more than they were feeling you or vice versa. That person was feeling you more than you were feeling them. But there wasn't a balance. And unfortunately, you guys did not reach that stability that you both were looking for. Because it seems like you both are looking for stability. You both are looking for something to fulfill you romantically. But... For some reason, you guys have decided that this is not it for you. What's my advice for Scorpio? What's my advice for Scorpios? for the month of April. What's my advice for scorpions for the month of April? My advice for scorpions for the month of April. Scorpions, it seems like you're not happy with this person. It seems like you were not feeling the way that they were communicating. 
it seems like they were either hot and cold, hot and cold, hot and cold, and you were giving each other mixed mixed messages. And it, it caused you to feel like this person was the unstable one. Again, this Virgo card comes up. So it has to be that you were dealing with a Virgo or you were dealing with an earth sign. But you're dealing with someone that has heavy Virgo in their chart. Overall energy. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this one too. So the overall energy for you, Scorpion. You felt like walking away and seeing a different perspective on this was the best thing for you to do. You felt like you were not getting any fulfillment, any enlightenment, any sort of happiness or clarification. So you've walked away. You're looking at it from a different and you're like, I'm no longer going to engage with you anymore because I've had it with this. Your future energy is that you finally put this to rest. But it feels like once in a while you entertain the thought of going back. You entertain the thought of actually staying. You've entertained the thought of actually offering this person not only stability, but peacefulness. Your overall energy is the Ten of Cups, the Devil, and the Ace of Wands. For me, the Ace of Wands is always the possibility of having sex, the, op the possibility of actually using your boner. Um, I'm seeing a lot of like masculine energy here. I'm seeing a lot of passion, a lot of like heat. And this person can definitely offer for it to you. I, I can see you guys having like wonderful sex. Like I can see you guys really physically connecting. But emotionally, I don't know if that's even possible because again, this person has very high expectations and I don't know if you have the same. It seems like maybe you might have very low expectations or it might be that you just don't feel like this is the right situation for you, Scorpio. I do feel like you're going to decide that it might be another opportunity to actually fuck this person. It might be another opportunity for them to see your wild side, see your sensual side, see the scorpion in you. Because I do see that the overall energy is the Ten of Cups where you are happy. But again, you entertain the thought of walking away from this person. You entertain the thought of giving your back to this person. And it could be that the thought of you walking away gives you some sort of peace, some sort of clarity. But I still see that the Ace of Wands is here. So it's like you still think about fucking them. You still think about touching them and talking to them and telling them that you really wanted them. But unfortunately, it's like, I don't know if it's because you're not sure or because you just don't want it. It's very rare that I'll go ahead and put my two cents in, but I'm gonna do it for this video. Scorpions, if this is something that you really want or something that you're still thinking about, it's obvious that you should give it another chance and see what the opportunity is. It's okay to bend, Scorpio. It's okay to be wrong, Scorpio. It's okay to apologize, Scorpio. Because remember, sometimes even though Scorpions think that they're a very good judge of characters, they're not always right because sometimes we always are under the impression that someone's going to hurt us. Someone's utilizing us. Someone is not utilizing. Excuse me. That's the wrong word. Someone is manipulating us and someone is using us. 
But Scorpio, I see that this person was really attracted to you and had a very sincere attraction to you. But again, with the Scorpio sun, sometimes Scorpio just doesn't like to fulfill or like feel like they're about to be trapped or committed in something that is for a long time. But if you're still thinking about it, obviously it's something that you want to entertain. Remember, we are practicing social distancing, but a phone call, an email, a text message would definitely not hurt Scorpio. If you are still interested in this person, I definitely think that you should reach out to them. Don't wait for them to reach out to you. Because why, why would you put something off when you know that this is something you want? And when it's something that you want, and you have the confidence and the emotion behind it, there's no way you could go wrong, Scorpio. I really do hope that you enjoy this April tarot reading for Scorpio.